And we're live. Hi, everyone. GM, GM, and welcome to Wagme and Polygon. I'm here with the Coinbase Wallet team, um, and I've got Diego, Ben, Taylor, Alex, and today you'll learn a little bit more about how to develop dApps with all of the different awesome tools that Coinbase Wallet provides. So let's kick things off with some introductions. Uh, again, I'm Steph Orpilia. I'm a developer relations engineer at Polygon. Um, and let's start with Diego. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, absolutely. So I am Diego Lizarazo. I'm a senior developer, uh, well, senior de dev rel engineer. So I always go for developer evangelists or advocate, but well, it's pretty much the same uh, with the Coinbase Wallet team. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about myself in the presentation that we're going to have a, in a couple of minutes, but I'll pass it on to Taylor. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Taylor. I'm on the developer relations team at Coinbase. And I guess I'll pass it over to you, Ming Fan. Yeah, sure. Hi, my name is Meng Fan. I'm the ecosystem manager at Coinbase. Nice to meet you, everyone. I and, guess that uh, leaves me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm Alex, a room manager for developer engagement. Really excited to be here. We'll be hanging out in the chat uh, for anybody with questions while Diego does his thing. So um, yeah, thanks for being here. Awesome. Let's get into the presentation from Diego. Yeah, perfect. So let me share my screen over here. And hopefully you should be able to see my presentation over here. Uh, slideshow. There you go. So, well, today we're going to be talking uh, about different things, but uh, the focus is going to be on a Coinbase wallet. I think in future engagements, in some other streams that we're going to do, we will cover other uh, developer tools and products that we have at Coinbase. But uh, today we're going to, like I said, focus on, on wallet. So I'm going to, this is the general agenda. So we're going to do like a little bit of intro with uh, Taylor that is going to join us a little bit at the end for the AMA and also a bit about myself. I'm going to be covering several things about uh, wallet in general. And since we don't know for sure, like the level of expertise of all of you, of like the attendees, I'm going to cover some basic concepts. Uh, so uh, don't worry, we will get a little bit more to the demos at the end. And uh, the more, uh, well, streams and, and presentations that we have about this, obviously we're going to get deeper and deeper into uh, DAB development and the ecosystem in general. So uh, I think here is uh, Taylor's uh, slide. So like, I guess he can also talk a little bit more about himself at the AMA. AMA. So, but he, like, like he mentioned, he's a senior developer relations engineer and you can see him here and quite likely after the presentations, after this stream, you will be able to connect with him and ask him questions and well, in general, tell him a lot about your dApps and the projects that you're working on. And uh, this is me. So I put it there, bonus points. If at some point you can correctly say my last name, that's something that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, but in general, I'm a senior developer relations engineer. And uh, let's start talking about the Coinbase wallet. So to start it a little bit uh, on the uh, kind of like, um, uh, a little bit on the like the easy side of things, we're going to start like what what is not Coinbase Wallet, and and the entire thing is that we are not Coinbase Exchange. That is something that causes a little bit of confusion between uh, like well uh, uh, between, uh, with a lot of people. They just kind of like go to Coinbase.com and then they think that that's the same thing as, as Coinbase Wallet. So they are kind of like two separate entities. You could have an account on each one of them. The advantage is that you can connect them. So that is something that as a developer, as a user, it is great for you. And we're going to see that is one of the biggest advantages of working with Coinbase. Uh, also, Coinbase Wallet is not a KYC wallet. So like this is not a custodial wallet and pretty much you are going to have control of, well, your, your keys and everything that you do with it. Now, why should you care? Uh, especially as a developer, why should you care about Coinbase Wallet? So, uh, if I can summarize it in one word, it would be the audience. So we're the fastest growing wallet extension in the US and the most downloaded self-custody wallet in the US too. 
So I, I, the number that I have right now is that we have around 89 million existing users. Quite likely this, this could be already outdated. It's constantly growing. And pretty much all those uh, users are going to be ready to uh, be onboarded on, on the Web3 uh, world uh, through the self-custody wallet that we are going to be talking about. So also the wallet was ready for Web3. So pretty much uh, you can see here in this slide a little bit about like the different features that you have. So one of my favorite ones is the NFT portfolio. So like if you are beginning, that, that was my entry point up to uh, the Web3 world, uh, trying to create some NFTs and, and collect them and all that. So you, you already can get your uh, portfolio there. But of course, for developers, you have many other things that help you to be ready you know, like uh, to, to create dApps and new projects. And uh, we're constantly growing and that's going to be a part of this presentation. By then I'm going to show you some of the latest features that we have in the wallet and how that makes it easier for you as a developer to create new uh, dApps on top of the wallet. Now, uh, how is it that you can connect your dApps with uh, this wallet? So we have like four main different ways and we're going to check really quick uh, uh, each one of them. Um, but this in particular is useful um, because it allows users and even developers to kind of pick whatever you need for your uh, particular needs. So the first thing would be the standalone brow uh, browser extension. Uh, second one is going to be the wallet mobile on desktop, pretty much this one and uh, the, the mobile, um, uh, extension that you're going to have, uh, like are kind of like the preferred ones for me at least. So I, I kind of have my uh, like uh, phone connected already with the wallet. Then also you have the hardware extension uh, version there. And finally the mobile in-app that browser. So all that is just pretty much to say like uh, you should try the wallet. Uh, it's really cool. And now we're going to go into why as a developer you should care. So, um, a lot of the, uh, the a lot of the focus that we had had up to now on on the wallet was around users and to create a, a really seamless experience for users. But then, as a developer, why should you care? So we're going to check. Uh, this is the part that I told you that we're going to check some of these like. Uh, simple concepts. And uh, I think this is going to be useful, especially if you're starting to create your new dApps. If you're a, uh, a dApp experienced dApp developer, this would be a little bit perhaps to uh, uh, tone down for you, but uh, bear down with me and like uh, we will get to the demo part and that hopefully it's going to be more interesting. So um, I like to see the wallet as a key management software. So that means that if let's say that you are a user and you have to log in, quote unquote, uh, on a specific uh, DAP, you will have to log in with your private key and then uh, the DAP has to connect some transactions on your behalf, right? And if you as a user have to do that for every single DAP that you, uh, every single time that you want to log in on a DAP, and in every single DAP, that would be really cumbersome, that would be uh, really annoying, and, and then um, that, that is something that, that is tiresome. Also as a developer, then if you have to kind of like code every single aspect that you need to manage the, well, the keys and do it in a secure way, uh, after a while, then that would be your focus and then you would not be able to provide the experience that you, you really need. So the wallet takes that burden of trust of your hands as a dApp developer. And the wallet uh, holds and manages the user's uh, keys. And by doing so, it facilitates the safe and secure signing and submitting uh, of your transactions, the user. So the wallet is going to be the go-between between your, like, well, your DAB and Ethereum, and we'll kind of see a little bit more of that in a second. So this is quite simplified, but at a very high level, uh, like they, we already kind of like talk a little bit about what the wallet is going uh, to do for you as a DAB developer. Now, uh, a more practical question is like, how does your DAP communicate with the wallet? So, and this is going to be no kind of like surprise for most developers, and that is going to be through an API. So this is a standard that uh, almost every wallet exposes their API on the web, uh, often via JavaScript, and a JavaScript object on the web page uh, for the DAP uh, from them to interact with. 
So uh, how is it that we call this API? Well, we are going to call it the provider. So the provider is quite powerful, so because uh, it handles a lot of things, but like from the point of view uh, of the developer, the API is really easy to use. So through RPC requests and su subscribing to events, you're going to be able to interact with it. And the beautiful thing is that this API provider is not really special for Coinbase Wallet. So like this is universal across all wallet providers. And that is going to be a little bit on the demo. Like we're going to check it on the demo that I'm going to do in a, in a couple of minutes. So now uh, the request method is uh, the, the main method defined by the provider for interacting with Ethereum. And the request is just a wrapper method for a JSON uh, RPC call to the client. And here in this slide, you're going to be able to see the request function interface uh, that a provider defines. So all that the DAP needs to do is to submit a request and specify the uh, JSON RPC method and the relevant parameters that, that you need for that, for that method. So we're going to check really quick some, some examples. So this one that you can see here is our favorite one because it's the Connect Wallet. And this one uh, is specified by the EIP 1102 um, specification and to for the account authorization. And uh, for in the code, you can see that it's as simple as a provider.request to call uh, what you're going to need. And then you specify the method that in this case as well would be uh, request accounts. Now, this code uh, is also kind of like one, perhaps one of the most complex ones that you're going to find and is how you switch and add networks. So here you can see that uh, first uh, it is, the code is trying to connect to the WACMI network. And first it tries to request to switch to this change. And then in case that it does not exist, then it sends another request to the provider to add the network with the parameters that it's specifying there in the, uh, well, in the code. Now, uh, providers are standardized. So most, if not all wallet providers are standardized under uh, EIP 1193. And that what it enables is wallet interoperability. So that means that you can write your DAP not thinking about which wallets uh, your user will be using. And uh, you can make requests to the client, listen to all the change, changes in the state uh, the, and pretty much that makes it like wallet agnostic. So we do know that many developers use other uh, wallets. So what we're going to show in the demo is pretty much the way that you can uh, have a multi-wallet DAP. So allow your users to kind of like pick which one. So um, that's what leads me to multi-wallet model. So uh, you, all, you may be already as a, as a developer uh, familiar on how uh, to use the browser window dot Ethereum uh, property to kind of like access uh, to your provider. So this would be the injected provider. So when you install a browser extension, uh, the extension injects its provider into the browser inside the window dot Ethereum property. And then your DAP is going to be able to fetch information and pretty much kind of like handle all the requests and listen for events uh, using this information. But then we have a, a, a little bit of a problem. And is that as of now, really uh, there is only room for one provider on, on that property, you know? So like your dApps are only going to be able to rely on the window.ethereum. So you don't really have kind of like an easy way or like a plug and play multi-wallet option. So there, there is not kind of like wallet inter interoperability that you could uh, have. So like if you only have one wallet, so are going to have only one provider. So then how do you do that? So, well, there are, there are several solutions, but the one that I'm going to be talking about here is the multi-wallet multi -wallet model. And since wallets are interoperable, so uh, the, the question that we have, especially in the Coinbase wallet team is like, why not to give that choice to, uh, to your user? You know, like let them pick whichever you, you're going to uh, have. And how do you implement that? Well. Obviously, the first option that you have is to indi individually like download the SDKs for all the um, uh, different wallets that you want to implement. 
and then you can like build manually your model from scratch and then kind of like let the users pick. But that's that's a little bit complicated. And well, we're developers, we kind of like just want to focus on a specific problem. So uh, we, we don't want to do that. We don't want to kind of like build things from scratch. So in that case, it's much easier just to kind of like use an aggregator library. And then you have several of them that are open source. And some are quite amazing. And you can uh, well, kind of like have like two different buckets there, like a headless library and out of the box, uh, out of the box libraries. So now, uh, well, my quick integration demo. So let me exit my presentation here. And I am going to jump here to um, our uh, documentation uh, for the wallet SDK. So these, these are links that we're going to provide uh, at the end of the presentation. So you don't have to kind of check it, but if you want, the, the, what I was talking about is right here in the integrated with Web3 model. And you're going to see in the documentation, uh, like the different steps that you uh, do need to follow to kind of like make, uh, to give this option in your DAP. But what I would really like to show you here, because I think it's a little bit easier, and personally, that's something that, that I like to do uh, more, that is to already start with some sort of code that you uh, can modify. Almost at the top, you're going to have a code sandbox that one of the uh, build squad members can like add in or create it. And is this uh, code sandbox that shows you a small application that it's already implementing this Web3 model. So uh, I'm going to disconnect in a second. So you can see here all the code. You already have a little bit of a UI that you can use and start modifying. Really the important thing here is in the provider options. And because here it is where you're going to be uh, uh, importing the uh, Coinbase Wallet SDK. So you can see that here at the top. And also here uh, you are going to see the provider options that you have to um, uh, well set at the very beginning. Now, uh, you can see it here a little bit, the code, but then let's jump into a different page. Hopefully it opens correctly. So to be able to do it correctly, I'm going to disconnect. And if you can see in this browser, I already have a uh, MetaMask and Coinbase wallet. So the entire point of the code that we saw here in the sandbox is that when you click here in the connect wallet, it should give you by default wallet connect but also it should detect the uh, browser extensions that you have. So in this case, well, uh, MetaMask and Coinbase Wallet. And if everything works correctly, I checked it this morning, so it should go well, uh, it should be able to immediately connect and it, it is so fast that it immediately just tells me the status. So it was great that it was added here. So uh, it, it, I've done this uh, process in the past. So we just say like, hey, you already have a connected uh, wallet extension here and you as the user pick uh, Coinbase Wallet. So now you're connected and you can continue your work from there. So it's uh, as simple as that. And the, all that you already have here in this um, uh, sample that you have here. So well, that's kind of like a demo number one. Now uh, I am going to go really quick back to the presentation and I'm going to start getting into the last part of my presentation. So let me get to the right slide. And um, well, this is kind of like pretty much just a summary of what we had there before. Uh, yeah, so like let's go into the new features for developers. So uh, we want to kind of like have a great uh, experience for both users and developers. But I think I mentioned at the very beginning that traditionally the focus has been on, on features for users. So now the developer relations team is working with a new engineering team in the wallet organization that is just focused on Web3 developer experience with wallet. They're called the Build Squad and they have been shipping several new features in the last couple of weeks. And we have been kind of like trying to get feedback on the, these new features, well, to make them better and to include new ones. So I'm going to show you really quick uh, some of them. And then uh, I will kind of like show you if you have installed already in your browser, the, the uh, wallet extension where to find some of these features. So um, pretty much everything now is going to be, uh, well, before we kind of like have everything bunched into something that was called the developer mode. So now it were, many of these features were split into their own options and they were kind of like needed, uh, like the team kind of like made it a little bit easier for you to find them and to start working with them. Um, some of them, so like you're going to have now everything on advanced settings. And one of the first ones is to uh, 
enable test nets. So some of the ones that are going to be included by default are uh, Rinkeby, uh, Phantom Testnet, Coban, and uh, but we get questions all the time on how to add test nets because they were kind of like hitting that developer mode setting. So now it's made explicitly in, like uh, in the settings, like in the drop down, where to kind of like find them and and how to well, pick them and enable them. Then um, view your private key. So. Uh, Besides like testnet confusion, uh, one of the most common requests was like how to kind of like uh, view your and export your private key, and which th that was something that we were not supporting before. So now you just kind of like view and copy paste your private key inside the wallet, and you can use it for different things like deploying uh, like uh, contracts or well anything that you need that for. So and export and import your custom networks. So now you just can like export everything on a JSON uh, file and then you can report that in the same format. So instead of like typing that in every single, well, from session to session, you just kind of like do it once, you just save that JSON file and then you can paste it later. So that's something that I think is quite useful. So uh, future plans, um, I don't think I can tell, like, talk a little bit more uh, about that but uh, there are several things that are right now they're testing. And uh, we would like, it, like I'm going to share this uh, link that you have the QR code here to get a little bit of feedback uh, on terms of new features that you would like. So, but I, and I'm going to share it again in one second. But before I do that, let me jump here to Brave and just show you uh, where some of these advanced settings uh, can be found. So obviously you have to have like the latest extension, the latest, uh, I'm sorry, the latest version of the extension. And if you want to start using uh, a lot of these things, you quite likely will have to uh, enable the developer mode uh, here in, in your browser. The same thing would go on Chrome, but like it's found in almost in the same way. And after you do that, you should be able to well, you are, should be kind of like uh, welcomed by something like this. So like if this is the first time that you see uh, the wallet extension, like you can take a look. And this is my uh, developer uh, account. So you can see that has a lot of things there. Uh, you can see transactions community and the advanced um, settings that I was talking about before are going to be here while in the settings. You scroll down a little bit and then you're going to be able to find everything else and you can start enabling the extensions, showing your private key. Uh, here under experiment mode, we're going to kind of like have like uh, several like uh, options in the, well, right now and in the future that we want to try first and get your feedback and get developer, well, the feedback from the community and pretty much just like uh, how to start with the documentation that is going to take you to the Coinbase wallet uh, documentation here on how to do all that. So let me get back to the other browser. And yeah, I think, uh, well, we had a few questions for you, but I think the, the easiest way for me, I'm just going to show uh, the, the QR code again for a second. So in case that you want to connect with us, in case that you want to learn more about the, the different uh, Coinbase wallet uh, features. And also in this QR code, if you want to sign up to start working with us to show us your uh, dApps or if you want to start on like uh, working in terms of improving features and giving us your feedback, this is kind of like the best way to connect with us. And also, well, follow us on uh, Twitter and Coinbase Wallet. And that's kind of like a great way for, for you to uh, connect with the, with the entire team. And I think I'm going to leave it there for a second. So anyone that is interested can check the QR code. And then that is kind of like the, the end of my um, presentation. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing all of that, Diego. And uh, I think a lot of our builders in the audience probably know this already. Polygon has right now um, called Biddlet. You can find technology, uh, but the Coinbase wallet would be awesome to see implemented in a lot of these different hacks that people are doing. Uh, we have $500,000 in prizes and um, love to see Coinbase wallet integrated in lots of the projects.
And uh, I think at this moment, uh, perhaps Taylor can also join uh, the presentation. And if we have any other questions, well, Taylor and Alex, I think they can join too. And if we uh, can answer some questions and get some feedback, if not, well, people on the, on the uh, chat can let us know a little bit about what they're doing, about uh, their applications. Uh, one thing that I personally would like to see a little bit more is uh, more uh, highlights from our team on terms of like uh, dApps that are being created using uh, Coinbase Wallet. So if you want to connect with us, this is a great opportunity. And uh, yeah, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I talk a lot. I'm going to take a pause and let other people talk. <laughs> Yeah, sure. So it seems like a couple of people have a questions in the chat right now. So I guess I can like go through them and answer them while we have the time. Um, so Ruslin asks, are you guys going to support upcoming Polygon ZK EVM? Um, so when it comes to Coinbase Wallet, our goal is to become or to be dedicated to becoming the best multi-chain wallet um, that there is. So we're always looking for a new upcoming chains and integrations. Um, but with that said, we do have an add in, an add custom network feature that is compatible with all L1 and L2 EVM um, chains. So let's see. I will say too, while Taylor is looking up any more questions, um, and this is a, it's a good question about the ZK VM because we know this is a really, really important and an awesome new announcement that you guys made uh, last week. Um, our team is working really closely to ensure that the Polygon developers have everything they need to seamlessly integrate with Coinbase tools. So any feedback or ideas or needs that that you guys have out there, please share that with us. Um, please. Telegram us, please uh, reach out however possible. We have a forum, uh, Diego shared the QR code. We have a feedback form. We're, we're certainly eager to hear from all of you about what we could be doing to help you further. So any feedback or ideas you have, please share. Yeah, so I guess um, not a question, but a niche says he uses Wagme and Web3 React, and both are good with Coinbase Wallet. Um, yeah, so we have a few integrations on our developer platform right now. Um, Wagme, Web3 React, Web3 Modal. Um, they're all compatible with Coinbase Wallet, and we're always looking for third-party libraries to also integrate with um, and just make that developer experience easier for integrating with Coinbase Wallet. So it's good to hear. <clears throat> Steph, I, I know was... that um, Mung Fan had more by way of updates from the partnership. So if there are no more questions, we can also share more about what it is that we're doing with the Polygon ecosystem um, as it pertains to Coinbase. So it's definitely something we have ready for you guys too. Yeah, let's hear from her about all of those partnership updates. Great. Uh, let me quickly share my screen. Let's see. Okay. okay. Can everyone see my screen? Okay. Cool. I think everyone can see my screen. Okay. Cool. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Meng Fan, and I'm an ecosystem manager at Coinbase. And uh, today I'm very honored to be here and share some of the recent ecosystem partnerships between Coinbase and Polygon. Uh, first, I would like to talk about um, the biggest Katha Kali NFT job. Polygon and Coinbase Wallet partnered on a one-of-a-kind campaign to give away um, millions of NFTs to wa wallet users. And Coinbase Wallet now supports Polygon NFTs on both wallet mobile app and browser extension. Secondly, regarding the community events, we successfully co-hosted a one-month program and hackathon with our great partners Launchhouse and ThirdWeb during the NFT NYC event. The program attracted many top engineers to build the best adapts 
in gaming and metaverse. There were 12 meetups hosted during the program, and hackathon participants got the chance to meet uh, both Coinbase and the Polygon uh, core team members and also the leaderships. And uh, the Decentralist, a leasing and renting platform, won the first place. Ginny and Zebra won the second place and the third place. Congratulations to those teams. Uh, besides that, we're happy to co-host co the Wagme event with Polygon to introduce more Coinbase Web3 products to Polygon developers. Furthermore, Coinbase customers can now send and receive ETH, Matic, and USDC on Polygon. We greatly appreciate Polygon's support on this integration. And this integration marks the first time Coinbase has enabled the ability to send and receive this assets on layer one, uh, sorry, on layer two. Coinbase is reducing time, effort, and high fees by letting customers convert the fiat to crypto and fund their Polygon wallets in minutes. Um, just simply open your Coinbase mobile app or log into coinbase.com and tap pay. Cool. And then last but not least, Coinbase Wallet now supports Crazy Defense Heroes, a top game in Polygon. And Crazy Defense um, game, uh, sorry, Crazy Defense Heroes is a tower defense play to earn mobile game. As of July 27th, uh, yesterday, based on the Dev Reader data, the game has uh, 17,000 users with a total value of assets of 18 million in their smart contracts in um, recent 30 days. Crazy De Defense Heroes now is integrated with Coinbase Wallet. Users can access the game by connecting their Coinbase Wallet. So we're looking forward to supporting more um, gaming protocols and Web3 projects on Polygon. We're excited about further um, partnerships opportunities between Coinbase and Polygon through the Q3. And please, uh, please stay tuned and we will keep you all updated. Thank you and see you next time. All of that is so exciting. Thanks for his announcements. Sure. Thank you. All right. Should we get into the AMA? Does anyone? have any questions for the coin team about either development or um, do you want to talk about some of the things you're working on? Drop your questions in the chat. Uh, in the chat, I also kind of like added the, the link where you're going to find like the different forms uh, to give us feedback and to connect with us in, uh, in case you don't have questions right now or like if you just want to share a little bit about what you're doing in, in like the, later, then that's kind of like a great way to, to do so. And also you can follow us on uh, Twitter there. I kind of put it there in the chat too. Someone asked, um, do we have a link to the hackathon? Um, event, yeah, are we able to share a link here or? And stuff, or we share the link with you, and then you can drop into the chat. Cool. Oh, I see it right there. Thank you. I see a technical question in the chat from Anish. Uh, when I use Coinbase and MM, which is MetaMask with Web3 React, on connecting the wallet, it pops up both the wallet. Is there any way to stop this with Web3 React? Uh, yeah, I can answer this. So um, we recently re launched a feature in Coinbase Wallet that actually stops these conflicting pop-ups. Um, so if user has Coinbase Wallet and MetaMask installed on their browser at the same time, um, it, in the past, this did pop up both wallets if you tried to connect your um, wallet to a DAP. But now uh, Coinbase Wallet has a feature that basically pops up one window and then lets you choose either Coinbase Wallet or MetaMask and makes the experience a lot a lot better. So um, to get that feature, I would um, recommend updating the Coinbase Wallet extension to the latest version. Cool. 
in your browser. Awesome. Is there a good way to know uh, when a new update for that extension comes out? How do we as develop that out and make sure we're up to date with the latest? Um, that's a good question. I, th I think that if you open the Coinbase wallet extension, you can see that at the very bottom, of the window, there's an app version number. Um, I don't believe right now we do have a notification system that kind of alerts you when your extension is out of date, but um, just matching that number to the latest in the Chrome dev store, um, you can you can like compare those two version numbers, but. Any other for the team? One more thing I will say is that Not we uh, we hope to do more. We hope to do more of these. We hope to be more engaged with uh, the Polygon community. We're really excited um, about some more uh, updates coming, more features that are specific to the Polygon ecosystem. So definitely uh, keep keep your eyes and ears and hearts open to all things coming from Coinbase. We're, we're excited to continue to learn from and engage with all things Polygon. We, we love what you guys are doing um, in the community and are excited to continue our partnership um, for all things Coinbase and Polygon. Cool. And also, I think the moderator awesome. dropped a link. Um, dropped a link, the, which is a form that we collect the feedback um, from the developers regarding the Coinbase wallet. So um, if you didn't have the chance to share your uh, feedback or questions on, on this event, don't don't worry. And then um, you can just uh, uh, put in, like, input this form, fill in this form, and then our team will reveal it. And then we'll connect with you. Uh, to provide further support. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I'm not seeing any more questions in the chat quite yet, uh, but I just wanted to compliment your documentation. Um, I've used Coinbase Wallet several times like over the last few months, and almost every time the documentation has gotten better in some way. So shout out to your team for that. It makes it so easy to build something quickly. Well, that actually then uh, a lot of that, you should give kudos to Taylor. He has been working really hard to make it more developer friendly and to actually get things that developers really need to start like their dApp development with uh, Coinbase Wallet. So I think he has been... Well, the entire team has collaborated there, but that Taylor has kind of taken a lot of the lead on that. Also, like, uh, give shout out to Alex. And I know that Alex uh, works on the documentation on several products as well. And also, he put a lot of effort um, translate um, the documentations into, uh, like, multiple languages and in, to support international expansion. Uh, great work, Alex. Thank you for your, for your support. Thinkizing that as we're all going to make it and Web3 inclusive, I think it's so important to have uh, those translations so that all developers uh, can build on top of Coinbase Wallet. Actually, that would be a great feedback from some of uh, the attendees if uh, you know that well, your teams are creating things and need uh, documentation in different languages. We uh, want to make a big effort there, but uh, if we know the languages that you're using, that will make it easier for us to uh, prioritize that 
those efforts. We really want to reach as many developers as we can, but uh, there's so much that we can do. So that kind of feedback is really important. So it's not just uh, uh, about like saying like what we're doing uh, great, but also give us some guidance. You know, we really need to connect with the developer audience to know uh, where to put our effort and all our energy. Awesome. All right, um, maybe I'll pass the mic around kind of for any closing thoughts from each member of the team and also plug your Twitter so everyone can follow you and everything that you're building. Diego, sharing again my Twitter on the chat. It's yellow777. Uh, uh, and I'm going to share it here in a second. And uh, yeah, really uh, looking forward to connect with everyone. And I've seen perhaps some of you in a few events that we have had in the last couple of months. And hopefully, uh, uh, if it's not in person, then in more events online, we will get to, to meet uh, all of you. Diego, Taylor, do you want to go next? Yeah, sure. So you guys can find me at Tay Caldwell on Twitter. It's basically half of my name and then my last name. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to reiterate that we're um, continuously looking to improve Coinbase Wallet, not only as a self-custody wallet for users, but also as a developer tool. So if any of you um, want to provide any feedback on how you would like to see Coinbase Wallet evolve as a developer tool, as a product, um, any feedback, feel free to leave it in that form that we dropped in the chat. Um, we're always around to answer any questions that you guys might have, um, and yeah. I guess. Well, I'll I can go. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll actually drop the uh, at Coinbase Wallet Twitter. I think that's probably the best place to stay uh, up to date on all things. What we're building, um, we have a, a army going after the best possible features uh, to both integrate and build to keep your users um, and the people using Polygon dApps as safe and as uh, trusting as possible with, with interacting with what you guys are building. Um, thank you guys. I think that's what I'll, I'll leave with. Thank you all so much for building out the frontier of this space. Thank you for being um, the future of, of this industry. We really appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Cool, I will go next. Um, yeah, the, the Coinbase wallet Twitter will be the best. Um, also like my own Twitter is um, Mongfan uh, and then the underscore Mia. Um, and then I would like to keep connected with the Polygon developers and also the users community. Um, what I want to say is like, I think Coinbase loves Polygon and um, for several reasons. Personally, I feel Polygon really understand developers, what they need, and also always like prioritize um, the support to the developers. So I think um, Polygon definitely has like um, a long way to go, like in the Web3 and also lead this revolution. Um, and Coinbase now we will have like further partnerships with Poly with Polygon as well. So it's an honor for us to partner together and um, hope to yeah hope to learn more about po Polygon and also through the journey. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much. And I'm Oceans404 on Twitter. Um, but I want to put out there that if you're building Polygon and Coinbase Wallet, we all want to about it on Twitter and tag zero on devs and also the Coinbase wallet. Both of the teams can check out everything you're building, whether it's for or we'd love to see it. Thank you, thank you so much to the uh, moderator. Thank you. And we'll talk to you thank soon. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.